Welcome to Makuya Twogere. As usual, your number one LBQ virtual spot where we laugh, love, and learn. Well, I'm your I'm your host today, Godiva, a well known maker too in this Kampala streets and other places. <laughs> and I'm here with. Sweet chocolate. Biggie. Melody. Gazelle, your female lover. And Smiley. Together we are Bakuya Twogere. She said what she said. Yes. She said what she said indeed. Indeed, yes. 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 <laughs> As she said what she says, I would uh, welcome everyone on our space. And today's space is about yoga leaf. Yes. Yoga leaf. We all hear yoga leaf. So the yoga leaf is the Uganda Lesbian Forum. And with the Uganda Lesbian Forum, it's a space that brings together LBQ women from different regions, activists, leaders. And it's a space where we meet, reflect on ourselves, but also on the movement. And also we collectively heal and pave way to, you know, the movement and self's well-being and i would love really i know all of us really love to know the background where is yoga leaf coming from what is it really and i would love to invite her biggie to give us you know to dive into that conversation of where why yoga leaf we need to know about that Speaking yeah. of Biggie White, man, it was your birthday. Yeah. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Biggie. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, dear Biggie. Happy birthday, Biggie. Happy birthday, dear Biggie. Happy birthday, dear Biggie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that takes me back to that time, that moment, actually, after attending... Uganda Feminist Forum and African Feminist Forum, I thought it's prudent for us to organize a space that is exclusively LBQ women. Because in that, in Uganda, a Uganda Fem- Fem- Feminist Forum and African Feminist Forum cannot invite more than five persons because of course, and of course, um, create, allowing other people to um, be in the same space. So the dream happened in 2014. But the, the, no, after 2014, the dream happened in 2015. Even without funds, we were optimistic that funds are going to come in any time. And here comes 2019, where we got funding from Womankind. Big up! Thank you, Womankind. Womankind International supported our first Uganda Lesbian Forum. That is in 2019, which brought together over 80 LBQ persons from all over Uganda. Yes, it was a first of a kind. It was actually mainly about uh, movement building, where Farouk is at the forefront, uh, movement building is at the forefront of Farouk's um, existence. So for the first time, we brought together lesbians from different uh, walks of uh, Uganda, but also had time to involve our partners, especially for the fact that we were uh, launching our first documentary, that is the realities of LBQ persons in Uganda, both uh, a book and, um, and a documentary. So we, had, we needed our, uh, our allies to be in space with us, yeah, we had yeah. fun. We had exchange from uh, prominent, um, prominent feminists. Speaking of fem- prominent feminists, was it uh, Sylvia Tamale? Yes, yes. I have Tamale. a selfie with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was such a cup I remember, I, I remember, <laughs> I remember attending as a member and seeing lesbians from Gulu. Is it Lira Pichan was saying what she's a witch? Like everything was like amazing. Everyone coming in the way they are. As a member, I was a bit timid. I was scared to talk, but I was put on a panel, and I had to talk about um, transitioning from like uh, lesbian work to. It was mostly about my work and tra- and how I transitioned to being an LBQ member now. But the space was very intimidating, honestly. I want to have a money, but I composed myself, and 
it was a very also healing space having to feel like you belong in a space with other people without feeling like you're judged i liked feeling like that and then the cocktail <laughs> <laughs> i remember getting down on the floor with tamale and leila we danced in that car dress they say put on a car dress i got my car black dress i liked the day it was a very wonderful day that was not there in person but i got to be there through here say but in uh that's when i got to interface my first time with the word movement building you know feminism having a friend that got to be part of you know the the convening and then also uh knowing that uh we are having a forum of lbq you know and on it they had these cashers the way the founders that were there and and before you are hearing about them you're seeing them but then here you get to see them and it's they're in the space that you are actually opting to be and yeah from here say yeah and actually um the fact it was the first of our kind we had the founding director kasha around we also had the next director junik in the same mm. space and wow. then uh, myself yeah. But what I enjoyed most, I loved the uh, oh, the fact the fact that all of us we talked about our history, our journey, but also uh, LBQ members. Some of them were meeting Sylvia Tamale for the first time. She talked about uh, movement building. She talked about feminism. She talked about um, gender. We realized at a certain point people were silently listening to her but it was a very good session taking pictures with her and understanding what feminism is some people heard it for the first time mm. but also her explaining the importance of movement building and why we should always put that at the back of our minds um did you expect to be the director that you are now like from that space that you are in and the conversations that you're saying that impacted you in this manner? I really, I, I did have, I, I've done an evaluation, but at that time, I really didn't know where I was going. I was sure that uh, I'm going to do things different. Um, and um, the, the beauty of it all, I had already indulged in movement building, feminism, for for a period of time a period of just a few years that i thought it's important for us to share or teach the generations that will come after mm. after myself and yeah mm. okay okay so in terms of getting from yugalef 1 to yugalef 2 Yeah, mm. at least we have more attenders yeah. of you than if to in yeah. this yeah. space. <laughs> we can give us the down uh, Especially after lockdown. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Uh, for me, my highlight for the second yoga leaf was, eh, with that speed dating, you guys. Mm -hmm. First of all, they brought, um, they brought people from different countries like spaces so you you would find someone who's going to teach you about business someone who's going to teach you about travel someone who's going to speak to you about their mental health like openly and and you don't for me as even in shock that they can actually come out and sit with you and tell you this is a b c d you know some people you look at them and then you think they have it all together until you actually sit down and listen to their stories so getting it get that getting that one on one from um um activists and feminists that are out there you know it gave me that courage and the it gave me courage and also made me be able to open up and even ask questions you know oh, how did you come out of it how did you overcome where did you go for counseling you know when did you accept or oh, you it was it was su it was such an amazing experience we had another thing we had a yoga class you guys <laughs> I, i i slept off after like in the session because as so i felt i felt at peace the the music was was so peaceful it was so comfortable can you can leave oh yeah can i ask how did you how did you end up at you can leave too <laughs> yeah. so um, yeah. you know you know you, you know being hmm, you know being one of those members that 
are now being recognized or being thought of you know there is being a member but you know but one of those members that oh let's let's call melody for this oh melody can do this oh you know i think melody should be part of this so I, I believe that's how I got on board. Slowly by slowly, you build a relationship, you build a rapport. Also, it depends on on probably how you're acting, and and your interaction within like the spaces previously. To yes, I I, I believe that's how I made my way to the top. First as um as a member, then when we come to the third one. <laughs> <laughs> There's another, there's another elevation there, but let's first complete round two. <laughs> yes. yes, I was in Kamoli that time, as I say, the first sugar leaf being here, say, and then here it comes, and um, I'm part of, uh, first of all, uh, being privileged to be part of the team uh, that was organizing it, and then here also being part of the organizers when it came to some specific um activities but generally uh coming from uh covid lockdown and everything uh the second yoga leaf was basically about collective healing love and care and how to actually um move past uh yeah. that and basically we focused on our well-being and wellness as individuals but and also as institutions yeah. and uh getting to be part of uh when it came to uh, weaving the movement, collective movement, uh, practically getting, in, being in charge of, uh, you know, when it came to hands-on, like, crafts, as people were listening to different conversations, we had this engagement of uh, crafting either your beading, you're either making a shaggy mat, and it really drew people into, like, a focus, and then also giving each other an ear because everyone was concentrated on either plating hair or beading or doing what but then as having different conversations go on and also institutionalization of uh, you know our mental well-being when it comes to when it comes to institutions how are we prioritizing our mental well-being and mostly the covid was really a start off for us to you know focus on our, our well-being generally for individuals but also institutions and uh, yeah, to me being part of it the first time. And then the exciting bit was I mimed. We had a dance. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> and then emceeing. Well, it was a challenge for me because I had never really been. It was my first time to have a big audience, talking to the big audience, like taking up that challenge for me. It was an opening for me. Yeah. And, 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 and as 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 um, you enjoyed MC, we were supported by our darling sexual minorities Uganda, oh, okay. Uncle uh, Frank. as Frank. well as yes. as well as womankind I for the second again and again and again. Yes. Oh yes. yes, Biggie, tell us about the theme of the second Uga Life. You know, right in the middle of COVID. We should I just say like post lockdown? Yeah, mm-hmm. just just like um um the previous speaker said, it was coming out of um lockdown, being away from each other. We couldn't meet. We needed. We didn't know who was hurting how. We needed collective healing first of all, but we also had moments for personal check check in with counselors and uh, different persons to speak about what you're feeling and what you're going through and how do we uh, go forward after lockdown. You know, life had to move on after lockdown. And so basically it was welcoming people from lockdown, but also understanding the challenges they have been going through physically while we are speaking to each other for the four days that we spent there. It was very, very, very important for us to heal together, but also have fun and laugh, enjoy with each other because people had lost people. Mm. Yeah, we needed a space, that kind of space. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, speaking of the space, I remember now, as Sophie had said, mm. this time around, Yugalef, um, the second Yugalef, I was now staff, yes, but I was the membership players when I remember, I remember and I had to deal with members. So I liked communicating the fact that every day had a different outfit. 
We have an ally, Ambala. Eh, people have like Kitengi. Then, then on date with feminist, Madame Mona Quaka dress. Aye, people wore good dresses and their heels like they were matching the days, man. It felt nice being a part of like that organizing and. My most memorable was yeah being the MC me and Leah when we were all shy when they were in the room saying what are we going to do we just breathe in breathe out we were doing our rehearsals of the dance it was all new but it was very worth it the yoga as 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 of as um, Melody said like a song I don't know what song was that now it was like juju song <laughs> like a thing like doom and then everyone would just like breathe in like imagine after COVID. I lost my my DJing gig because the bar had to shut down. So I was there like oh DJing was everything to me but then I got to DJ during that event. I played Ziki for guys. This DJ amogwe mulira wa kabi. It was it was it was a very nice experience for me and thank god I was part of the next one also I will tell you the most interesting news now again in season 3. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> At season three, some of us are still here on Hangover from season three <laughs> of Yoga a few people. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know how now you who has been there for every Yoga Lefio, how you feel more. Does the formal just keep growing over, like, you relax eventually until the next mm-hmm. one? <laughs> I always want to be on every. Yes. I'm like, Oliver Twist, please may I have some more? That's honestly, that was my experience of, mm-hmm. like, because this was my first time attending Yoga Life, the third edition of Yoga Life, which was this year. A few weeks ago, actually, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe three, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it was really such a beautiful space for me, like, to be in the presence, first of all, of so many um, young, like, lesbians, bi, and queer women who are, like... For first of all, from every part of Uganda, right? Because maybe my experience of the movement has very much previously been limited to, like, Kampala. Mm-hmm. So it was so interesting for me to see, like, lesbians from Jinja, Bali. <laughs> Western, you get I was like, wow. But also, like, people are thinking about, like, making the country a better place for all of us like we are all invested in that work but also we are very much invested in like in healing you know some of the conversations that we had at um yeah at this yoga life for me i found very like like you know like a soothing balm i don't know how else to describe it Mm. but like some of like being in that space and listening and sharing with the people who are there was really for me was a healing experience yeah and then of course i was also um should i say privileged lucky those things mean the same thing right yeah i was also like lucky to be um facilitating the sessions so it was really nice to you know when you go accustomed to speaking to rooms of people it becomes very easy like to read the energy in, in a room you know and i really feel like for all the sessions that we were in for this yoga life, like people were present, True. they wanted to, yes, you know, I feel like we were co-creating, like in all the conversations that we were having, people were invested, whether like we are talking about spirituality or we are talking about like, um, yeah, about health or lasting of our sexy doctors. <laughs> but yes, like, it, it was nice to be in a room with people who are in the room, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really and actually, because, um, because uh, for a fact, uh, Freedom and Rome made 20 years. Whoop, whoop. Uh, that's a very big milestone. But also not to forget that we are the oldest LBQ existing organization in Africa. What a fire. So mm-hmm. these celebrations, regardless of the Anti-Homosexuality Act, we had to gather. Making 20 years is not a simple thing. We are growing the movement, mm. but we also needed to celebrate because we had taken quite a long time when, while people were in hiding. We have taken quite a long time. We, were, we had taken quite a long time without physically meeting more than 20 people. So everyone was eager to be in the space. Um, 
The facilitator was uh, marvelous. Everyone who was in this, in, you know, the feel of everyone being in the place and being intentionally in the place. Not only just being in the place, but participating. It was uh, overwhelming for me to see us back together. And although we didn't have a lot of interference, there was some, but security was uh, Gulu, gulu. Yeah. I, rem- I remember that there was a time at office before we were closed. We had like a, 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 like a meeting and then we had like this discussion where me, Biggie, and some other guys. Then we went and asked Biggie, Are we going to have you, Gale? Yeah. She said, Bam, you know what I'm calling Auntia. You, Gale, it has to happen this year. I was like, Okay. But no, my, my role this time was I did communications. <coughs> so I'd call these people, like, you know, we're having this feminist festival. That was the cover. And then the guys were excited. They're like, uh huh, where ya? What? I'm like, calm down, <laughs> calm down. You're gonna turn. So, the excitement of guys being in the space, irrespective of the dangers they thought they thought they would have, like they would get, they didn't care. Just wanted to be in a space where they felt like they belong, a space to just meet everyone. My highlights um, was the documenting me and Smiley. We did that <laughs> behind the scenes, interviewing <laughs> people. Man, everyone had like different things to say. They could just be that cracking joke, someone learning about the, the, the smallest things like how Godiva said this, how how the food tasted that day, of like just the small details about the day just made me feel like wow, we did an amazing thing. Mm. And please especially after our, our eviction. Yeah. Man, after we had a lot of pain as stuff we, we had like our own yeah. pain that no one maybe knew about. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Man. which affected uh, affected us a little bit mm. Mm. and so for us to pull out this Yugalif um, thing for 20 years was really awesome yeah. I remember when we were doing videos eh? I mean like when we went around to do the documentaries of Tamale and those guys they were excited like wait Faruga 20 man this is amazing and we're doing this thing the third time like every energy around the days of, of the of the event it was all good energy but the one thing that i actually <laughs> um joining the community itself like it's so sad for the things that they say on tv and radio and if you're not educated enough not educated in school but educated through the community who people are the picture they give out they're like you monsters these guys who have come to take away this. But then me joining this actually I remember when when for the first time I came to to an event of Farouk when I'm not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> I need to relax. Like for me it was more like when she called me, I was like, Do you want me to attend? <laughs> like it was a surprise. And being a person who didn't even know what you guys is, like what is your mm. Like, And at the back of my mind, I already knew, ah, I'm going to, maybe I'm going to do interviews. And But actually asking me, a person who's not from this community, to join, for me it was a big, like I felt amazing. I felt like I'm blessed enough. That means I have worked for the position I'm in, for you guys to involve me to call me and be part of something that I don't actually know that it exists. Exactly. (laughs) So seriously, I felt, and then the energy there, like you could look at people. The first time I saw you, Godiva, I was like, is this someone else I know? (laughs) And then you know, and I'm like, oh, she's not. But okay, it's okay. But no, I felt your energy and I was like, this is a good person, really. And everyone in the room that I didn't know, just like you. At least most I had met at Farouk, um, but it was really, really, really amazing. And thank you guys. It was, please call me. Yeah. <laughs> I had fun. Okay, so for me, uh, my highlight actually was security. Mm-hmm. You guys are so scared. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with all, with whatever has been going on with the bill, the mm-hmm. evictions, um, that saga of the person I do not want to mention. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, eh. Aren't we going to be mm-hmm. 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 raided? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys, as as I was scared, but I felt so safe. 
you have no idea like i was like even if they come here i don't think they'll do anything because somehow it's covered mm. <laughs> so that was a very that was a highlight for me then also on the committee side i feel like that we were very organized you know mm. um the way we 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 chose what we need to do like the activities that need to be done um also Uh, yeah the activities that did, that need to be done and then the interviews and then the whole Farouk making 20 years you guys that was a whole celebration by the way eh yeah, the like 20 fact. years of service of serving the community you guys we don't take that for granted mm. it's a lot of work it comes with um positive comments and uh, I mean also there's there's negative comments of course mm. but to take that all in and you still serve I feel like we we need to give um far, the Farug team a lot of grace because they take in a lot so <laughs> so we need to give you your flowers mm. and also you know we 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 need to understand that they are human and the 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 the, the um, the stress that we come with or the um, we we keep going there for assistance 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 but um we also need to to give them grace because they also have personal things that they go through mm-hmm. and also the, thi- the like our issues also weigh them down so when we meet them like just show some grace you know mm-hmm. but i'm i'm very proud of the team. the team it was yeah. amazing yeah. 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 Well, well, <laughs> in the spirit of making demands <laughs> <laughs> while, while, while Me- melody talked about fa- the 20 years that the moment you know taking you 20 years back when we were discussing the history from where we we started uh, yeah. who remembers all the time when you came in the periods the years yeah. what transpired How, Jesus. That was a nice that one. That, that one. Was, yeah, that one was, yeah, yeah, the history mm. of uh, really, really Farouk. And just like the, the number of people who remember a particular thing or yeah. whatever. But Biggie, I'm still going to make my demand in yeah. the spirit of being demanding. Can we have a Farouk at 20 bash? <laughs> we sh- we, we shall see what to, to celebrate. You know, even we in our entitlement. Because we've enough flasks to show that we made yeah. 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Those flasks, good Lord. So now we just need a bash. Farouk buys for us like two, three beers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll just ask you a thing. Third yoga leaf. Um, for me... The conversations, the activities, uh, the sessions actually were very, very uh, important to me because I needed to know. I've also wanted to hear, you know, from the horse's mouth, uh, how the movement was, how it has been. And I noticed actually, I was in the move, I was, I was, I was around, you know, during that time when all things were happening, talking about the old times of Sappho, you know, the <laughs> and being part of uh you know the history to now and then also the moment of uh, asking the doctor the moment with the doctor the counselors in the space go to have conversations on you know lbq health in particular talking about our concerns and then also yeah as a collective planning forward because it had been a, a long time when we just virtually uh, meeting But then this time it was a physical meeting that we all had to meet each other, feel each, feel each other, meet this day, aha, and then also collectively pave way for ourselves during, you know, this time of the act. Mm. Yeah, eh, yo, you got live in the middle of aha, yeah. you know? Yeah, but we survived it and we're here to tell the tale and we want more, you get, eh? So I, f- I feel like Yeah, me I want to share my dreams for for you guys left 2025 and just <laughs> probably you guys left 2024 in my dream, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's okay to dream. In my dream, yeah. So like I just keep dreaming about like more and more spaces for us as um like Ugandan queer feminists to come together 
and to think or even just to rest together you know like a lot of the things that people who attended were saying in the feedback session like can we have a games day or a games night like because a lot of of course the conversations we had were really deep and like um, vulnerable but also there was something that we all got just from being in the space together you know so I guess for me like one of my dreams for the future is really just that we get more spaces for you like you left that I don't know that we always have the resources I guess to like bring ourselves together in that manner in those numbers you know yeah but also um, I think in that came in from one of the participants on um, having um, maybe Ugali for a week, then have sessions in different in different regions. Whoa. Whoa. So we have we have north, then have west, and then finally um, centralize it. Yeah, those are Ugali. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. Mm, <laughs> that's how nice we are. But yeah. As we, we talk about the good thing, I want to also continue to mention the supporters, the people who stood with us during that period of time. Smart. Thank you, Uncle Frank. Oh, and make thing. way. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, make way. Womankind again. Yes. And finally, jazz. Hey. If without them, wow. we wouldn't make Faro this year. Thank there was a so lot much. of scary moments on bringing people physically in a, in a place, in a space for f- four days. Mm-hmm. That was amazing. And it happened without any interference. Mm-hmm. Also, we forgot to mention this nice highlight where we were there down by the pool, hey, enjoying some music. It's just like people deal. dancing together and just rubber dubbing and Reggae dancing, as dance I mean, it was a very dope time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we were disciplined. I love that oh. we were disciplined. That means our safety and security precautions were being taken by everyone that was there. Yes. Yeah. And did you fall in the swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> with, with their clothes on. <laughs> clothes they oh, they dived. Dived. I mean, like they dived. And, they dived and the dresses, my dear. Ah. But those guys ah. were big. Those, ah. those guys were big. You guys, big wear dress, and she was slurring. Well, well, and shaking her leg like this. <laughs> okay, success. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I like that we have big dreams for the future. Yep. And oh yes, yeah, so what was our other dream? You got left by the water, oh, out in nature, camping. whatever. Like just more space for lesbians of all ages to like come together and meet together, dream together. You know, ah, yes, but we deserve more. We deserve more. Yes. Um, we should. You should remind people to follow us on our social uh, medias on our uh, Facebook at Farug Uganda. On Twitter at far underscore Uganda, same on Instagram, and then on YouTube, Bakuya Togere. Subscribe. Subscribe, share, like, comment. Actually, we'd love to hear on your feedback. Actually, if you're part of our Yuga Live, we'd love to hear your feedback in yes. our comment section. And don't forget to turn on the notification, notification. button. As usual, we are. But we are so She said she she what she, she wanted to say. Hey, I got a question.